Why not? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Why not? It's a beautiful day in the motherfucking neighborhood. As y'all coons sit back and watch NFL and football, you know, I just turned on TV a few minutes ago. I said, man, give me a brew or two. And come on, do this video. Because I know this week, y'all, this week, this week that's closing on January the 18th, this new year of 2016, when they got to do with MLK, y'all gonna attack this man credibility. So I just wanna get this shit out the way. I'm dressing all these WB shines and King shines and coons. So I hope y'all enjoy this, cause I'm gonna torture the shit out y'all. You know, not to, not to speak ill of the dead, but y'all ain't showing consideration for Martin Luther King. You got some dudes on social media talking about his credibility as far as his DC, as far as his speeches was written by other people and everything was doctored up by other people that that done it for him. And he's not, he's not authentic. He's not original. He's fake. He's a farce. You know what? I don't give a fuck about that. What have y'all done? Other than use the suppressors, the suppressors platform, which is YouTube. I'm gonna talk about that in a minute too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it down in steps, you know. Y'all got the audacity to talk about this man. Y'all disrespecting the dead. This man was in the trenches. Jim Crow, Bull Connor, dogs. Water hoses, people getting beat by blackjacks, people just getting lynched, white folks, black folks standing up for the black freedoms of America and being ridiculed and fucked with in the court systems, being locked up, being hauled off of jail. And y'all motherfuckers on a keyboard, y'all on social media talking shit about MLK. I don't care about that personal man life. He cheated on Coretta. That's between him and his maker and Coretta, too. Hot enough. Y'all are so disrespectful. The same ones who bring out this stuff, the same ones probably way worse than anybody they talking about. Just the hypocritical shit people come out with. And forgetting about the major point what this man has done for black folks in the trenches. With his, with his colleagues, with his reverend, with his brethren, trying to get it right. And we still haven't got it right. And it's 2016. A new fucking year. And black young men are getting killed by the police. Like they was getting killed by the police when Martin Luther King was living. Mega Evers was living. Rosa Parks was living. Ida B. Wells was living. Mega Evers was living. Nat Turner, Emmett Till, same shit. Same shit. Still going on. 2016. But I'm wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about. You can't refute this. You can't debunk this. That's why I had to get this out early. Because I know people going to attack this holiday. Or this day. It's like any other day. I'm going to talk about the three step program. The three-step program is this. When we came over here, they systematically put us on a plantation. That's number one. That's one of the programs. They put us on a plantation. When we got uh, emancipated or we got freed, but, you know, uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln and all that shit, we supposedly, you know, we was free, you know. Uh, the Vietnam soldiers came back from the war and, and uh, a big drug academic started heroin and crack in the 80s. Then they put all, then they ran all the drugs through the inner cities and the black community and the guns. 30 years down the road, we still fuck. That's the second program. Oh, I'm not over. That's the second program, folks. The three step program. The plantation. The second plantation. Now I'm going to talk about the third plantation. Fucking YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, it's social media. That's, this is the modern day plantation. Social fucking media. 
Can you can can you debunk this? Can you refute this? Can 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 you discredit this? What you see on social media? You see all the insanities, all the mental illness of slavery's past. Willie Lynch, ne Willie Lynch Negroes with sin Willie Lynch Negro syndrome. You know what I'm saying? Slave mentalities, cool mentalities. Uh, men going against each other. People talking about the old annex, gender wars, you know, pitching white against black, black against white, mulatto against uh, old, old, old mechanisms. But this, 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 this is what y'all engage in. This is what y'all, this is y'all embrace. This is what y'all embrace. This is why I had to bring this shit to task. You so-called intellectuals. Oh, I'm telling y'all, man, we got a lot to do. Then let's get off of this. Uh, let's get off of this for a minute. Let's talk about something else. Cause this is this 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 stop fucking with stop fucking with MLK. Cause that's why I titled it "Stop Fucking with MLK." Stop fucking with MLK is is a variety of many topics I'm gonna talk about. It's, it's, it's many topics, okay? It's like basking. It's like basking robins. A lot of flavors, okay? Let me tell you something, y'all. <laughs> because y'all need to get on the roads of knowledge. Now we got bozos, clowns, minstrels, WB shines, King shines, talking about Michelle Obama, the first lady. I don't give a fuck if that lady got a dick. I don't give a fuck if that lady got a vagina. Uh, look, man, what is that doing for you? What is that doing for you, brothers and sisters? The intermediate families, the uh, uh, the, the biological families, the families in the, all inner cities and suburbs. What the fuck is that doing for y'all? Oh, y'all making videos. Y'all, y'all, you editing and cutting videos, trying to discredit the uh, president's wife. Then y'all say he's uh, he he is the king of gay marriage. I haven't, you know, will, will trip me out. Oh boy, y'all killing me, man. That's what I say. Y'all, you know, you know, I hope you young men listen to this because every day y'all hear me say, I want y'all to go on your social me social media networks and look everything up I said, and y'all see y'all see what I'm talking about. You see this nigga, this nigga right here, know what he talking about? Yeah, I know what I talk about because I study. Now let's talk about let, let's 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 stop with Ron Reagan and Nancy Reagan on the war of drugs. That's when the drugs got popping. They didn't give a fuck about black folks in the black community. Uh, strike number one. Let's talk about the Rockefeller laws. The Rockefeller, you good old NYC. They didn't give a fuck. Juliana, Juliana never gave a fuck about no black folk. Okay? Then, the air ass off the injury, your boy Clinton. Bill, Mr. Bill Clinton. Three strikes you out. Do you know how many black men got incarcerated over that bullshit? Minor, minor, minor criminal uh, offenses, but they was doing long terms for that three strikes you out, that three felony strike law. You dumb motherfuckers, but y'all never talk about that. But soon as a motherfucking black man get in and a black woman, you black people talk about them worse than your fucking oppressor. Y'all want to talk about the ones that fucked us long time ago, 30, 20 years down the red. But y'all want to talk about that if, if, as if the Obamas was the first ones and the only ones that's fucking us. <laughs> Ooh, boy. I tell you, man. Knowledge is, knowledge is power. Reading the book, studying your politics is powerful. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. It's not the bomb. This, this, this shit been going on for a long time. My thing is this. I see a lot of people that's getting bored. That's what I think is boredom. They're running out of topics. They're running out of uh, things on their channel. So they just, they, they fly with any kind of thing. You know. Now, I can get on YouTube and watch some credible videos and get information and spin it in my own interpretation and make my video. And everything I say, you can look it up and you hear people talking about it and you say, this guy, nobody talking about. 
you know, this this funeral director. I don't put no people on blast. He was talking about how these young black men are keep coming to him. He got to, you know, do all the stuff funeral directors do for as uh, messing with the body. They come out, they got out, organs gone. The organs already been harnessed. He talked about the uh, medical procedure. They keep the bodies on mechanics and respirators. So the body the body is clinically dead, but it's not dead because the machines are keeping the, keeping the shit moving around so the organs won't deplete and die. So they come in, they got the body out, send them to the uh, funeral director. You know, he got to put the chemicals, you know, the process they do to keep the, to keep the body you know, up to tack, you know, for the funeral and all. So he talk about how much money they making off of dead black males in their organs. So you got other foreign, you got foreigners walking around with black men's uh, murder victims, or, uh, excuse me, murder victims' organs and living well, while your sons is in a fucking grave rotting away as fertilizer. But y'all want to come on social media and talk bullshit. Now let's get back to MLK. Now, if you do your history, if you watch a Spike Lee joint, you watch that Malcolm X joint, okay, let me tell you something about that one. He done a good job on that one. Okay? That's Chirac. I can't speak on that. He done a good job. Now, I, yeah, I think yeah, Spike Lee, well, yeah, he produced uh, Mal uh, Malcolm X. If he didn't, I'm wrong. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is the movie. The point is the movie. If you've seen the movie, when he came from that pilgrimage, when he went to Africa, the Exodus or whatever you want to call it, when he went to Africa and came back, he had a different mindset. And if you pay attention to the movie, he's about to get together with Martin Luther King Jr. and he's about to merge as a, uh, as a superpower. And, they, and the powers that be had to put a fork in that shit. And if y'all look, 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 look and pay attention to what the fuck I'm talking about and do your studying, you'll see. Now, is, is, is that, that, if that ain't a clear picture of, of demonic activity and how these motherfuckers work, you're blind. You'll never catch on to anything that's going on on the high echelon of the demonic activity that destroys black people as we know on this earth. They stopped those men. They had to go because they had too much power, too much knowledge, and that's about to turn the whole black experience, experience around. But y'all is catching amnesia. I mean, y'all catching a, a, a dementia. Y'all getting senile. Y'all forgetting. That's what's going on. Y'all don't want to see that. Y'all don't want to hear that. Y'all want to believe what y'all want to see. Y'all want to hear what y'all want to hear. But that's the fucking facts. They had to go because the powers to be seeing those two men getting together and changing the bullshit that's black that what black people was going through back then. Now we're going through the same shit now. Now you got these people trying to tear Umar Johnson down. You got them trying to tear Tyreek Nashi down. All the guys and girls that's credible on YouTube that's moving and shaking in the black power movement far as real activism. No fake prophets for prophets. No fake pro-blacks. I'm talking about the real pro-blacks. Not the fake ones. And then we got these fucking crybabies. The coons. The babies in the crib. They need to go back and re-party train because they need to, cause they, they not party train. They crying. They need a, they need a bib. They need a pacifier because they crying and they still in the fucking annals of the crib. Y'all not helping her. Y'all not helping nothing. Y'all trying to be dictators and, and perpetrators of the black race. But all y'all is keyboard warriors, trolls, and self hater, self haters and hater raid ass Negroes. That's mad because your life ain't going right. So you tacking other people's channels because your popularity ain't worth shit. That's why I had to jump out here early, be, be, you know, before the 18th come, because I know y'all gonna go and tack that man's legacy. Man done more from uh, done more for black people than any black man done in the history of time almost. Half of these motherfuckers now can't hold a stone to MLK. Y'all want to talk about some man's personal personal history? It's if y'all are saints and, and, and holy and dial. Get the fuck out of here. Shit. 
Home off production, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all motherfuckers, man, be tripping me out. And some other things I want to touch on, you know. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna well it. I'm gonna leave it for some other videos. I just want to touch on some stuff. So I'm gonna kick this new year off right. I'm kicking it off right. This 2016 crack down on y'all sucker ass motherfuckers and, and women. Then y'all motherfuckers fighting over gender wars and. Uh, worrying about what a black woman gonna go, go with a white man and all, all that's bullshit. People been doing that for years. Another topic that's lame. It's so like I said, while they harvesting our youth, taking their organs, women and, and women and men, teenagers, even little infants now, they harvest their fucking organs. Still feeding us that bullshit. Out these fast food stores, our kids are unhealthy still. Boycott that. Talk about that. Shh. Talk about the harvesting and, and the families ain't getting no money because their sons are, are being uh, uh, they are, uh, organ donors and they don't get no kickbacks. Talk about that. They don't get no proceeds. Talk about that. All they get is a, a fucking funeral. And, and, and a funeral director said, and the funeral director said he had to pay for some of those some of those funerals because the mothers didn't have no fucking money. Think about that. Talk about that. Talk about how many black men incarcerated. They could have raised those sons. They couldn't have uh, prevented them from getting killed in these streets if a father figure was dead. Man, I can go on and on, but y'all won't talk about that. Y'all won't talk about that. But y'all talk about that bullshit. Y'all talk about that lame shit. I just want y'all to think about it. I want to enjoy my bed and enjoy this new year. And I hope y'all enjoy this. And the ones that don't, I guess the shoe fits you. And I hope your fucking feet fall off almost. Peace.